Hi folks, I'm Scott Mockington with Clam Outdoors. One piece of equipment everyone should have when fishing is a bump board. A bump board is a measuring device that helps you square the fish up and get an accurate measurement. There are a few good reasons to use a bump board. The first is to get the most accurate measurement possible. Here in my home state of Minnesota, protective slot limits are used as a fisheries management tool and some of the bag limits have a length provision with one over. Anglers in possession of fish in the protective slots are subject to fines and the social faux pas of a fish and game violation. Measuring your fish on the same device observation officer will be using ensures that there will be no discrepancies. Don't rely on a carpenter's measuring tape that doesn't square the fish or a sticker applied to the uneven surface of your boat or a fish tub that's been exposed to the elements and it can give you an inaccurate measure. A second reason to use a bump board is the advantage over weighing the fish. The social push towards catch and release has cut down a number of people sticking a measuring scale hook into the gills of a fish to get a weight. Today, a good length measurement is a reliable way to compare fish size and estimate weight. Taking a girth with a sewing tape can further zero in on a true weight and measurement formulas that use length measurements are very accurate. The final reason for using a bump board is having proof positive. A photo of a fish on a bump board eliminates any doubt. We've all seen photos of fish that seem to defy their stated weights. A photo of your big fish on your board will be hard to dismiss. Speaking of measuring fish, it's important to measure them correctly. The method favored throughout North America is total length. Anderson and Newman in Fisheries Techniques 2nd Edition define total length as the length from the anteriormost part of the fish to the tip of the longest caudal fin ray. It's important to remember to close the mouth of the fish while measuring, as well as tip, pinching the tips of the caudal fin together. Ready to make a bump board? Build your board to your quarry, not just for anticipated length, but for depth of body and shape. You will need a hammer and nails or a brad nailer, shellac and paintbrush, wood router or wood chisels, boards of a size that is up to you, and a measuring device to mount a yardstick or other. Good luck on the ice and may all your fish measure up.